um, and inside of there we are going to write something in a moment. Now what we've done here is we've taken the element that we've specified in the function and return or, or placed it inside of here. Usually we would do something like p, but because we've already fed in the element, we can just substitute the variable name in there. Now the part of the CSS that we need to actually uh, to get from the uh, the uh, the uh, func uh, the paragraph is the font size. So we can simply specify in here font size. Let's go ahead and alert this current variable out and see what we get when we click on one of these links. So we're going to click on one of these links and we're going to be returned with the font size uh, currently um, set for these paragraphs. So at the moment you can see it shows 16px. Now we need to find a way to add or subtract a value from this number 16 in order to make the text smaller or the text bigger. And the problem is that we've got this px in the way. So what we can do is inside of our text editor, we can actually wrap this uh, whole piece of code just here inside the pass int function. And this will essentially, um, it will uh, essentially cast uh, this value to an integer. So we're still going to alert out this current uh, variable. However, now that we've used pass int, it will remove the px part of the um, string. So now we have an integer of 16. So now we can start adding or subtracting values on depending on which button we've pressed. So down here, we'll get rid of alert and we'll create an if statement to perform a calculation uh, based on whether smaller or bigger has been fed into this function. So I'm going to say if size is equal to, remember size is the uh, text we fed in here, smaller or bigger. If it's equal to smaller, we need to perform one block. Otherwise, if the size is equal to bigger, we want to perform a different block. So inside of the first block, we want to um, create a new variable. And this is going to be called new underscore size. And that's going to be equal to current minus one. We're going to minus one pixel every time. We could put two, I suppose. That would make it uh, a bit better to use. Now, if the text size has been specified as bigger, i.e. the bigger link has been selected, we need to, again, create a new variable called um, new size. And this is going to be equal to current, but this time plus two. So if we uh, are clicking the smaller link, we're calling this function with the elements that we want to change the size of, and we want to make them smaller. So when we come in here, we get the current size cast to an int, and then we check and perform a calculation based on whether it's smaller or bigger that we want to go. And that's obviously minus two and plus two. Okay, so after this uh, if statement, we want to change the element CSS Remember, again, we're using the element that we fed in, which is the paragraph uh, tags or paragraph element. And we want to change the font size in here. So this is going to be font size. Now we want to change this to the new size, but then we want to also include the textual PX on the end of this. So just putting new size here uh, won't actually work because we need to then append on PX. So now it conforms to CSS. OK, so let's just run through this quickly. On index.php, we have these two links, smaller and bigger. When we click smaller or when we click bigger, we have two event handlers here, this one here and this one here. If we click smaller, we send um, the P to the change size function and we give it the value of smaller for this size variable here. And the same with bigger. We work out the current size, we then check whether we want to say smaller or bigger, and we either minus if it's smaller or plus if it's bigger. Then we reapply the new size plus the px that we removed with this pass int function back to the font size um, CSS style. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out now. We've got the text as it normally is. Now let's go ahead and click bigger. You can see that the font size has automatically been, been increased by two pixels. We can do this again and again and again to make these bigger. 
Now you'll notice that it's only changing the size of these paragraphs because the uh, selector that we used was for paragraphs. And again, we can go ahead and make these smaller and smaller and smaller uh, until they're essentially unreadable and gone. So that's how to use selectors um, inside of a function. We've passed an element through a function. And this is a nifty little uh, piece of code that will let you increase and decrease the font size on a page.